Hello everyone and welcome back to Send It Survivor channel where today we are looking at the latest model run to see what it is showing for November. Now there is actually a lot of uncertainty at the moment in the trends over the next few days. Um, I will show that in a bit and that is going over the potential Storm Gabrielle which is passing just to the north of the UK as expected to but there's a lot of uncertainty in the exact track um, but we'll have a look at that all towards the end of the video. We'll start by looking at this stuff because I want to discuss something very quickly. Um, so we're looking at the CFS, well the midday run, um, and we're going to see what it's showing. If you enjoyed today's video, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. I do appreciate your continued support. And we are looking at the chances of Northern blocking during November, the title of this video. So I wanted to show this because 31st of October, you can see that higher pressure is sort of around the country, over the top of the country, Areas of low pressure are pushed out in the North Atlantic, well out to our west. But as you'll see, into the start of November, higher pressure begins to establish properly towards Greenland and Iceland. As you can see there, it's really developing into a strong area of high pressure that is um, getting going. And you can see it begins to drag in, eventually slips back to our west into like a ridge before re-establishing back out towards Greenland as a mid-Atlantic ridge, bringing down colder... Uh, higher pressure to our west, got lower pressure towards Scandinavia, send it to Scandinavia, <laughs> and we're bringing down a colder northerly wind. So definitely turning things much colder there into the start of November with this, with the minus five line through the country. So that maintains for a few days, look at this. So through the first week of November, maintains out to our west higher pressure, um, we've got a trough through the country, um, sliding southwards within that cold air that's bringing in plenty of snow even for the south there Woo! 11th of november plenty of snow potential there probably we've got a low which is breaking down the ridge but we're still bringing in some colder air from the east it does begin to lose its strength though of course as you go along and then all we do then is we just ignore the rest of the run because it turns very mild and so the, the winter on this one is extremely mild so what we do is we skip to the latest and we go there and we see what it's showing for um End of November, there you go. So, um, I predicted that the end of November, start of December, would probably be quite cold. Um, and with this run, we'd actually be correct, because we see a ridge building in the Atlantic by the 30th of November, and a cold northerly wind. Lots of these trends have been maintained, by the way, from these runs, I must say. Very big trends. It does turn milder for a time, if we're again into the second week of December, higher pressure ridges out to our west in the Atlantic, very ridgy, and turns things colder again from the north. More northerly winds sinking southwards, that ridge maintains, and we actually bring in more easterly winds, as we've got higher pressure towards Scandinavia by the 14th there. Um, definitely colder, um, which is quite interesting to see. Uh, we do have some ridging towards Scandinavia, um, present and it does remain quite cold for quite a few days there so definite trends from these runs christmas there is kind of a no man's land actually probably quite mild <laughs> to be honest maybe some frost uh, well, that's about it we do see though an area of low pressure clears to the east of the uk by the 29th and we bring down more cold northerly winds for a time doesn't last too long for the atlantic makes its return and then we do see some ridging into the start of january so higher pressure ridging out to our west and northwest. Lower pressures diving southwards and winds are dragging in from an easterly direction. If we move on a day, there you go. Higher pressure ridges out. Areas of low pressure to go into the south. And we are bringing down the minus 10 line through the country. Bitterly cold air there by the 10th of January. Proper strong easterly wind from um, the Arctic really, Arctic origin. Pretty cold there, and probably quite wintry as well in the north and the northeast, as well as the southeast as well. Um, that theme maintains of higher pressure to our west. That is very cold, actually, very cold um, start, well, middle of January there. Um, maintains out to our west, though, throughout the whole period, and, and we get another resurgence of northerly winds, and um, the minus 10 line back through the country. Plenty of um, cold and snow potential there. Does turn milder into the longer term, and in, in fact, it turns very mild with westerly winds through um, February. But, just indicates the potential patterns and trends we could see. Start of March, obviously it turns colder again when all the cold's beginning to lose its strength because of the time of year. But, you never know, you never know. So, th that's just one thing that we're looking at today, and I'll bring up the next thing. Now, echoing back to the start of the video, you might remember I mentioned a potential storm system, which may track across the far north of Scotland and bring in some very strong winds for the far north of the UK. Well... Here's a few model runs to show you the uncertainty in that. It's on for the 4th of October 
and these are the different tracks. So this is the GFS first, and you can see the area of low pressure of a X Storm Gabriel. So they're sitting just to the south of Iceland there. But as you can see, it does bring in a, quite a few strong winds to the far north, but of the main brunt of that moves into Iceland and we avoid the uh, main force of the winds really. Kind of just skirts to our north and misses the UK before it turns into an Atlantic low and forms back to our north. That is one of the trends, but there is a lot of different trends. If we look at the GEM next, and we look again at the 4th of October, you can see there, this is that storm system um, over the top of the UK there, over northern Scotland. It is less developed there, uh, but as it clears out to our west, it becomes... Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, as it clears out to our east, it is very developed. 954 millibars at the centre, very strong winds possible there. As it clears out into the North Sea, um, for another low track through the country. So very much a lot of uncertainty with that. Moving on to the ECM run. You can see, really does not show much at all. 6Z, um, or the midnight run I should say, has that area of low pressure there. That's it, that's Gabriel. Um, very weak. Um, nothing too much happening there. Um, just kind of a bit of rain for the far north of the country. Some of the ones don't even have a low forming um, or tracking across the north of the country. There's a lot of um, variation within the model output, I must say, um, as to what we could see. We've got the AI model here as well, and that shows that area of low pressure sliding to the north, and it's really not as developed as the other ones are showing it. The ECM and the um, AI model have very good model consensus of it not being that unsettled. The UK Metaphys run, on the other hand, has... Um, the area of low pressure, much more developed, Gabriel, much more developed over the top of northern Scotland there, probably bringing in some quite strong winds with that wind gusts, I should say. Um, you can actually see wind gusts there, up to 100 kilometres an hour, so 70 miles an hour, pretty strong there. Uh, pretty strong gusts up in the north, and for that clears out into the North Sea, goes towards Scandinavia that time. JMA, we've got the JMA model running here as well. We're not quite there, but if we go to the midnight run, can see that storm system really just tracks through the country with the JMA, the Japanese model that is, tracks straight through the country like a dartboard low and slides to our southeast. So very much a lot of uncertainty. And also the Icon run has that area of low pressure going to the north, uh, but with just strong winds for all areas with a uh, weather front moving through the country on Saturday. So very much a lot of uncertainty. Majority of runs are showing it mostly dry um, for a long time. For a long period. Um, but again, there's always that risk of it being quite developed. So we'll have to just see how things play out. But overall, higher pressure dominant is the main thing. But I just wanted to bring it up very quickly. Thank you all very much for watching today's video. Consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel and all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.